Hi, Ideas here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to assign pedals inside the Phantom O. All right, let's get started. So inside the Phantom O, we have three pedal ports. One of them is designated for hold, but we have two control ports as well. So how do we assign pedals? In the old days, we used to go menu, system, and we'd have to kind of search. Just kind of have to search, and we, and we can still do that. It's all still there, so pedal. There's the pedal right there, we can search. Okay, I'm gonna show you a real fast way to get into it. So I can use either pedal, and for this example, I'm gonna use a DP2. And uh, DP2s are all black. I went ahead and put some colored electrical tape because I have multiples. And if you're using multiple pedals live, it is nice to be able to decipher between them all just with using a uh, colored electric tape. Just a, That's just a suggestion from me. So uh, take it if you like to use it. Go ahead and take that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in this DP2 pedal into control one input right here. Okay, now that it's plugged in, uh, let's just have a little fun. I, it doesn't even matter what scene I'm in. I just want to show you this. Okay, right now, I don't know what it's assigned to. It's no big deal. But if I wanted to assign it very quick and easy, direct, press and hold shift, go ahead and squeeze the pedal, and it takes me directly to that screen. Okay, before we assign the pedal, I want you to see this. Inside the pedals, and this is the same for the wheels, uh, and, you know, and the S1 and the sliders, I want you to see this. Inside the pedals, uh, these ports, you can choose where do you want them to be assigned source. I can have the pedal assigned to the scene or the system, system or the scene. So maybe I wanted to have control one always be a volume pedal. I could go ahead and have that. Maybe I wanted to have uh, another pedal where it's always goes up it's uh increment or it's a scene up maybe i want to have that i could go ahead and set it for maybe a system setting maybe i want to go ahead and have it set for scene because maybe on uh i have a scene that has the virtual tone wall organ and i want control pedal one to be maybe this speed up and speed down of the rotary speaker but in a separate scene a different scene maybe i want this to be the play button or something else, a different thing, then I would set it to scene. Okay, personally, I set all mine to scene so I can customize each scene individually, uh, including the pedals, but it's completely up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna assign it to scene, because that's what I like. Uh, I can shift, <laughs> touch it, uh, it takes me right back to the pedal. Uh, right here, and notice from there it jumped from this from the system. It jumped to a specific scene. Okay, so I'm to a scene. All I got to do now is press the enter button, and I can see all the choices I have available for me uh, to uh, to go ahead and do that. I can use my dial wheel. I can use my knob right here, and there's a lot of different things I can use. So let's take a look real quick. So if I wanted to. I could have rotary speed there. Let's go ahead and do that. That's a that's a good one. So I'm going to go into single tone. No, I don't want to say what I was doing. I'm going to go into zone two, and we're going to cover this again in the rotary speaker part. So I'm going to go into organ. Okay, there's my organ. Uh, just so you guys can see it, I am going to go ahead and pull up the rotary. I think you will be able to see it right there. And you see right here, it defaults right there to the left and right of the pitch bend. But I'm going to put it here in the pedal because chances are when you're playing live, you don't want to take your hands off the keyboard. You might be doing some walking bass. So I'm um, press enter, go inside. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the bottom in this case. And I am going to assign it to rotary speed. Okay. So I'm, I'm not saving the scene because this is just an example, but uh, let's go ahead and put on the parameter just so you guys can see this, and I know you'll be able to hear it. So if this was on the floor, I would step on it. It's on fast. Now it's on slow. Step on it again. There we go. Step it on again. Okay, cool. So that's one way we could do it for the rotary speaker. Let's look at another one. So sh shift. I gave it a little squeeze right there, brought it up. Let's go inside, see what else. 
I can have it, as you can see, increment, decrement. And this is per scene, so I don't have to do this every time. Or, or I would put it as a system setting uh, if I wanted to. Octave up, octave down. So tap tempo. This is really good. Tap tempo and uh, start stop. So let's do that. Let's go to a start and stop. So let's say I have, I have this. In this scene, I have a song. I want to go ahead and have the pedal start and stop my song. Shift. There you go. Let's go ahead and cursor down. And there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Almost there. There we go. Start and stop. Okay. Okay, so it's set. If I wanted to now, I would go in there and save the scene because you see the yellow asterisk right there. Uh, but now if... I did it correctly. Hopefully I did. Survey says squeeze the pedal. There it is. Hands off the keyboard. Let's stop the song. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it again. Great. So you can just focus on playing and we can just do it this way. Now let's do one more for fun. Let's do one more. Uh, once again, shift, squeeze the pedal. I'm going to press enter to go inside and let's go ahead and see. Uh, what we have going, maybe a tap tempo. Let's try tap tempo. Uh, let's go ahead and see what goes on. I'm going to bring up the tempo just so you can see for a second. And it should be correct. So let's go one, two, three, four. Let's go one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. see it changing? Slower. Cool. This could be really neat if you have a sequence playing and you want to launch it and the band, you want to make sure you're at the right tempo with the band, you can get that going. And then every now and then tap tempo with the band to make sure you kind of keep in timing with them. So that's a good uh, good, good use for that tap tempo. Boom, boom, boom. Too fast. Slow it down. Cool. All right. So, and once again, I had this one set uh, inside for the scenes. I could have gone into here in the pedals and I can have them where the source of the assignments is either the system or the scene. Personally, I like having scenes so that way the control pedals and that could be either the uh, DP2s or the full line, I think it's the DP10, uh, can go ahead and be assigned to those scenes to whatever you want. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. You guys take care and we'll talk to you later.